Hi everyone, my name is Indrajit Singh from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we will see a demo on how to install and configure BMC 3.0. So the agenda for the video is to see the installation options, uh, to check the prerequisites before we install, uh, the database configuration and schema requirements, and also we will uh, see a demo on installation of BMPC. So we have two different uh, installation modes available for BMPC. You can install in typical mode if you want the installer to create the default schemas at the time of installation, choose the typical installation mode. If you do not want to create the default schemas at the time of installation, you can choose custom installation. Please note that for installing in typical mode, you need to have a schema user with administrative privileges. The prerequisites for the installation are verifying the system requirements. Please ensure that you have a minimum hardware configuration for installing BMPC. Please check BMPC solutions guide for more details. Also check the user have uh, permissions for installing BMPC. Also make sure that you use the same database type for proactive monitoring repository as for power center. Uh, for example, if you are using Oracle database as for Power Center, you need to use the same database type for Proactive Monitoring Repository. You must configure a database user with administrative privileges for typical installation. You can customize the permissions in case of uh, custom installation. And next is uh, make sure you have uh, the Informatica domain name uh, handy so we can uh, provide that during installation. Now, Make sure that uh, this uh, domain name is correct because we cannot change it after you complete the installation. So for more details and uh, supported metrics, you can uh, you can see the PAM document. I have shared the link at the end of this video. So for typical installation, PMPC installer creates the default schema such as uh, rule point design, rule point topology, rule point RTM, and so on. So you need to uh, have six schemas along with the administrator user. Uh, you you must configure database user and provide the database administrator privileges before you proceed with the installation. So we'll see a demo on how to install BMPC on Linux box. So I have this uh, Linux box uh, ready for installing BMPC. Uh, this is a 64-bit OS. And so before uh, you proceed with the installation, we request you to now uh, check with our shipping team to provide uh, so that they will provide you the installer for BMPC 3.0. Uh, once you get that installer, you can uh, see two zip files, two different zip files for installing the BMPC. So if we, if we if you see here, I have zip files: uh, Informatica BMPC underscore cover of operations and uh, underscore governance. So if you uh, if you see these two zip files, you can install any of these uh, installers first. So if you don't need governance, you can only install operations. So uh, once you get the zip file from the shipping team, you can extract the zip file and uh, proceed with the installation. So let's. Uh, so before we proceed, uh, we need to create a user with administrative privileges. So let's uh, do that. with the installation so we'll install PMC operations first and then we install governance Uh, 
uh, the Informatica BBC operation 00.pin file and we can execute that. So make sure you have all the permissions for uh, running the installer. Um, we execute it. So it says uh, select the installation mode. So install practice monitoring for Power Center Operation 3.0, or you can upgrade uh, if you have 2.6. So we will choose the first, and uh, this is uh, requesting me for a default installer folder. So we will choose the same, and uh, yeah. says that you have a low disk space however we can continue this but uh, we recommend to have minimum 40 HP disk space so after uh, you should not face any issues after you complete the installation so make sure that you have 40 GB disk space as recommended so for this demo I am uh, proceeding with this um, 10 GB disk space So make sure we have a license file. So make sure uh, you provide the complete path of the license file. I have uh, kept it under installer folder. So make sure you provide a complete path for the license file and the directory is correct. So here we go. Uh, so here you see uh, two different types of uh, installation modes uh, like typical and custom. So installer creates the required schema with the default names as I said earlier. And for custom, use the existing schemas that are configured. So uh, you can check the readme file in this location and uh, to uh, how to how to customize the schema names or and also provide the permissions for the users um, and this uh, video as we are primarily focusing on typical installation we will um, proceed with that so let's choose one and uh, Oracle I will provide the username as we created as PMBC this, this is the administrator user we don't need to have a string. So here we will provide the database host for uh, on which uh, you are your BMC database is running. Next, you make sure you provide the right database host and uh, database port, the SID. Not to keep that. Okay. Now, enter the host and HTTP details to configure proactive monitoring for Power Center. So this is the default host uh, on which I am installing BNPC. Make sure that IP address is correct and the default Tomcat port. Okay. Not going to change that. If you want, you can provide any uh, port number. No, we are not going to enable HTTPS. No need to have a transfer information. You can uh, check all these uh, details about HTTPS and runs configuration in the documentation guide if you are interested. And so now we will provide the Informatica domain details. Let me check the domain name. So I log into the administrator 
console and uh, check the domain name first so that we can make sure the domain name is correct because as I said we cannot change this after we complete the installation so now I'll provide the domain name as uh, I have in administrator console and uh, we if you would like to enable reporting you can enable it from here choose yes so you need to provide the same domain name again and the uh, intuition service I have to say PMPC I have already created this intuition service and the power center connection name so this you can um, give anything but uh, you need to use the same connection name um, in, in your workflow manager when you are reporting workflow so this is the summary of the installation and uh, say continue it's installing and it doesn't take much time um, I think two three minutes are fine Installing the project monitoring default objects. So let's wait for some time. Okay, so we see uh, error while installing objects to root point. Uh, so basically, the installation has been completed, but uh, we can. We can start PMPC and check what are the issues are there, but however, you can check the logs for uh, the issues. I request you to uh, contact Global Customer Support uh, for any issues you, you face after you complete the installation. Uh, so this really summarizes this video. So we have seen the installation types, schema creation and a demo on PMPC installation steps. Uh, I request you to uh, refer the BMC 3.0 solutions guide for detailed steps for installing and configuring Proact monitoring for Power Center. You can check the documentation link uh, for my support uh, informatica.com. Also, check the PAM links provided for BMC 3.0 support matrix. Uh, all right, thanks. We'd like, love to hear from you and uh, uh, please provide your feedback and support videos at informatica.com. If you have a Twitter account, you can. Uh, tweet us at twitter.com slash support. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day.